gonna talk a little bit about the science of sales. Obviously, you have to show them the advantages and the features of what you're selling, whether it's a service or whether it's a product, but the benefits are gonna be what gets them, and the benefits are perceived by them. So you gotta find out what benefits are they looking for? What do they want this product for? And you gotta get them in that part of the brain. And when you get them into that part of the brain, now they can see things as they are, and they can make a rational decision. And they don't need all the analysis. If they say something like, I gotta think about it, or I gotta go, all these are indicators that you probably used a word they didn't understand, or you probably said something to them that they fully couldn't comprehend, or they started perceiving you as being very salesy, and now they're, they're like thinking you're trying to be real slick and sell them something, and they wanna get out of there. That's the reaction. They wanna leave as fast as possible because they feel like they're back in a dangerous situation. You have to disarm them and get them to look at things as they are. Before we show them their x-rays, we show them x-rays of other people. We don't tell them who they are, but they're standard x-rays. This is normal, this is a normal neck, this is a slightly degenerated neck, this is a severely degenerated neck. It, to get from here to here could take months to years, to get from here to here could take years and decades. If you're selling a legitimate service and their problem is caused by what happened to them years ago and you understand that as a doctor, looking at their history, looking at their exam results, looking at their x-ray results, and you realize this person's got a, a train wreck happening and I'm, somebody's got to save them or they're going off the rails. Looking at it that way, people will start to perceive that because you can perceive without words. Communication, a lot of communication takes place without words. And I'm not talking about observing that somebody going like, that's body language and that does portray or, or betray people's thoughts. But if you're really in tune with yourself, you'll be really in tune with other people and you should learn to trust that intuition. That's what people are doing in a sales cycle. They're trying to trust that intuition. And if somebody's got a really rehearsed sales pitch, they're gonna pick up, this is a really rehearsed sales pitch and these people are trying to take advantage of me. Now the trust factor goes away. But if you're actually asking them genuine questions because you understand how the body works and how it degenerates, they'll pick up on that too. And then they'll start to trust you. The more trust you build, the more likely they're gonna buy. You have to use very few words to do that. So you gotta get them to do all the talking. That's what a good sales presentation does, is get them to look at it and would this be the right fit for them? If you're genuinely trying to figure out is this product or service the right fit for this person? Pay, patients will pick up on that and realize that you're legitimate and more people will buy, buy the services. Um, it's not that people don't have the money. That's just excuses. That's just like people throw anything out. I'll give you some examples of things that people throw out just to get you off their back to distract you. Oh, I got to ask my wife about that. When we have them bring their wife in, half the times, more than half the times, the wife goes, what are you asking me for? I'm the one who told you to go to them. Yet the guy who's like, I can't do this, so I'll talk to my wife. It was all just a, a ploy to throw you off their scent. Oh, I gotta think about it. Oh, I don't know, this doesn't make much sense. I think I'm gonna ask my real doctor what this is all about. Why doesn't all the me medical schools teach this? And all these different things, these are just, they're not real excuses. And if you try to handle those excuses, you're gonna legitimize them. So we just ignore them. We gotta ignore them in a nice way. I understand, I got it. Tell me more about that. So what about that? What else? What else? Get them talking. Get them that because as they talk, they'll start to realize, you know what? This isn't real. I need this service. They showed me how to read x-rays before they took my x-rays. So I know this is real. Now I look at those x-rays and I go, that one disc at the bottom of my neck that goes to my hands, they show me the nerve chart, is really degenerating. And my other doctor said it's because I'm getting older. But I got five other discs on that x-ray that are normal. That's not true. If you have them having these cognitions, they're gonna buy your product. It's not true. If it was age, all of them would be that way. And they're not all that way. It's just one where I got injured 25 years ago. And it goes exactly to the place where my hand is hurting. That makes perfect sense to me. Now I have somebody going, oh my gosh, I, I wish I came here 25 years ago. That's how you do sales. You have to be honest. You have to be genuine. You have to be transparent. You have to get them to do most of the talking. You have to educate them just enough to understand what you're looking for. And the way we teach is we teach it in a way that you're disarming them from that defense of like the brick overcoat while you're educating them. So hopefully some of the things I've shared with you is gonna help you, and I know they will, so I want you to click and watch the next video because you're gonna love it. It's gonna help you more.